So I noticed in a lot of documents that people aren't checking for null in their dispose code in the finally block here. And I've actually read a comment that somebody said that it's completely pointless. And um, what this finally block is, it always executes. So this close operation is always going to execute whether or not there's an exception. And I'll show you why you want to check for null. The constructor here, new stream reader, is going to search for this file and try to open up a stream to it. And the file doesn't exist, so it's not going to be able to open up a stream and this text reader object will not be assigned to. Therefore, it's going to be null, and when we try to close or call close on it, we're going to be referencing a null object. So the catch has occurred, now the finally will execute. And of course, we've got a null reference exception. So always check for null on anything that can possibly yield a null value. So if tr is not equal to null, okay, so the object is equal to null, we don't need to call close or anything on it. 